Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the polka dice chip event. I'm going to show you how it works and what happens. Um, now when I first saw this I didn't know what to expect but then when I got into the casino I sort of got an instant idea of how it works and so you'll notice on the left hand side there's a chip event sort of like level counter. There's five different chests and in each of those five different chests are obviously different prizes. Now, the higher the bet you place, the more chips you earn. I started off with 10,000 bets. I noticed I was getting very little chips. I then upped my bets originally and I instantly started noticing that I was getting a lot more chips. So, I didn't blank out any of my coins. So, you'll notice in the top corner, I'm sat on about 4.8 million when I started. And that's to show you what happens when you go to the casino. Because the whole purpose of this video was me to unlock every single level to see what you get. So, the first one was the high roller jacket. Really loved it. Um, don't know whether I would personally wear it, but it's free item. You also notice with this event game that you have the option to be eligible to win additional prizes. Notice in this video how many times I actually win those eligible prizes. Even though that's not part of the chip event, that's completely different altogether, but it's very rare to actually win that. So I'm just going to also point out here the prizes you do win are quite shockingly bad. Um, so they're definitely not worth it at all. So I continue on and then basically what happens is the next prize I win is the Yokash cape which I think is pretty awesome. It is something I would wear. I really like the idea of it. It works brilliant. And then if I fast forward again the next prize is the casino card hat and again it's an item that I like but I personally won't wear it. So then if we fast forward even more, the next prize is a casino slot screen. You'll notice here, I'm trying to press continue, the button isn't working. I started to sort of freak out of it because I was like, what if I refresh and it refreshes my meter bar? Um, however, when I press the X button on the background of the Lucky Casino, it closed this path up and then let me go back into it fine. Obviously this is a glitch, of course, when BVG bring out new features or new mini games and things like that, nothing ever works properly. They never test it, so what do you expect with BVG? So, carrying on with the bets, you'll notice my coins are dropping drastically. However, if I'd stayed with a lower bet, then it would have took ages to get up the meter ladle, ladle level. <laughs> Um, and so if you fast forward to the final prize then, the final prize is this Casino Collections Throne and I think that is a brilliant end of prize. This is actually going for a lot in Auction House, around a mil, so that's something to bear in mind. I personally love this chair, I'm going back to my house just to show you what it looks like in person. However, the chair actually rotates around in all four different angles, which is something that's not common when it comes to furniture. So I really like that BVG took the time to um, do that. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment. I'm also just pointing out here, I did end up with 51k. So it's really not worth going, guys. I personally would buy the item out of auction house if you wanted it. But that's it guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.